You know what's grim? Raising this many children. That's grim. What's up everyone? I'm Kelsey and I'm single. So I thought it would be funny if I tried the occult baby challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and you're supposed to have babies with every occult character in The Sims. There's some rules to it. If you're interested in those, the links will be below. Last time we had a baby and the baby was beautiful, but we still haven't been able to age up my two twin sons. They've been in the house a little too long. So I think this episode, we will actually get them out of the house. I know one of them has been aged up, just needs to finish his second skill. And the other one I think needs to finish the second skill and get an A. So there's that. Then we will tap the possibly challenging aspect of woohooing an island elemental. I feel like there's gonna have to be a lot of cheats with that one too. Before we get too far into our video, I want to say a huge thank you to our sponsor this week, and that is Disney Dreamlight Valley, baby! If you love life sim adventure games, which I know all of you guys do, you're gonna love this game. You can buy the Founders Edition of your choice and get early access to Disney Dreamlight Valley today. The game actually releases next year. Explore Explore a world filled with the magic of Disney as you discover rich stories and build the perfect neighborhood alongside Disney and Pixar heroes and villains in this new life sim adventure game. Look how cute it is! There are so many wonderful characters and friends from your favorite films all in the world. Garden with Wally, cook with Remy, or kick back and fish with Goofy. There's Remy right there! Oh my gosh, I love Remy so much. Each character comes with hours of story content so you can grow your friendship with each of these Disney and Pixar characters. And you get different rewards by improving your relationship with them. He used to live in this beautiful valley. It was a wonderful place until the forgetting happened. All of these characters have forgotten about their past living together and their friendships. So we're trying to bring them all back and discover all of the secrets behind what happened to the valley and what we can do to save it. We can look at all of our different quests right now. We have to help Scrooge McDuck reopen his shop. Mickey seems like he has a new quest available for me right now. So we should go talk to him and Merlin. There's just so many things to do. Inside the dream castle, we can find different Disney and Pixar realms and each character needs your help. The customization options are literally endless, which I am obsessed with. We can create the home and village of my dreams with tons of Disney and Pixar furniture items. I created my avatar using the avatar designer tool, which is free. You can go in and create your own custom avatar and then port it into your game. So if you're interested in checking out Disney Dream of Valley, I will put a link to it below. If you're interested in seeing more of my Let's Play of Disney, Disney Dreamlight Dally, you can check it out on my second channel, youtube.com slash more Kelsey PGK. I'm having such a fun time and sinking literally all of my life into this game lately. So go check it out. All right, we're back with Chelsea, the plant sim. She's still got three days. We all got Leaf here, who is now a young adult. He just needs to finish up his flower arranging skill. Oh, look, and this is our new baby Liv. Liv is gonna go in here. And then I guess we have another baby birth certificate to add to the wall. Wow, look at all that. Honestly, it feels like there should be more than there are. And Liv is upset already. Greg Jr. got there first. Chelsea's feeling pretty good though. She's feeling confident about having had this baby. And how are you doing, Leaf? These needs are great. You know what that means, Leaf? It means you can go work on flower arranging. My chrysanthemums. Go do that. We'll have Greg Jr. go downstairs and fix this dollhouse. Oh, Quinn's yeah. doing a great job. Quinn, why don't you watch your favorite TV show, a comedy show? Quinn loves comedy. Hayden is upset. Stairs. He also needs to work on flower arranging. Maybe we'll just get a second flower arranging thing and put that downstairs. There are two of them, you know. We can put it in here. This will be perfect. And have him practice his flower arranging over here. My boys are both on the arranging grind and the rest of you can just, I guess, vibe. I don't know. Leaf up here finishing up his flower arrangement. We love that. We love to see it. Layden down here doing his flower arrangement. The boys are working hard. Why don't you sell that? And then why don't you make a new arrangement of daisies? Oh, I like the bluebells actually. They're so pretty. I want that. Level three the flower arranging skill. Yes. Okay, Leaf is there. Merlin is outside. Ooh, he learned zip zap. High on his electrical energy and gives something a jolt. Oh man, we could get up to some mischief with that. Why don't you practice some practical magic? Quinn's loving life. She's having a great time. I'm just micromanaging. I'm the queen of micromanaging my sims. Oh, Leaf is done. Resume the daisy. What are you doing? Oh, you learned Repario. That's great. Okay, so we have one, two, three. Three, four, five. Was that all we had to do? Spellcasters just learn five spells. That was so easy. I love that for me. Okay, well, we're done with his requirements. That's amazing. You just need to level up in high school. 
What's your favorite skill? Fitness. All right, go punch some things. Punch, punch. Mom's gonna get some mail. How are our boys? Hayden's having a piece of cake. Ooh, after some flower arranging. How you doing, Leaf? Leaf has come downstairs to hang out with his siblings. I really wanna be friends with someone, but they don't seem to wanna be friends with me. How can I make them my friend? Well, you can't make anyone your friend. You can't force it. So let's make a new arrangement. That is maybe daisies and bluebells. That one sounds nice. He does this funny like little thing where he just sits and kind of looks at it. I guess that's part of flower arranging. He's like, ooh, I absolutely love the flowers. Oh, maybe he's allergic. Maybe this is why he doesn't really want to keep doing the flower arranging. Come on, buddy. You've got this. Ooh, uh, very pretty. Very good work. Make another one. Crocus? Sure, we'll have him do that. And then Hayden, I need you to also make an arrangement. Why don't you make a white chrysanthemums? And Merlin's just asleep. He's just taking a nice little New Year's Eve nap, but he loves making resolutions and counting down to midnight. So we're gonna have to do some of these things. It's hard to make sure that everybody has a good New Year's when there's this many characters to deal with. Oh, Hayden's going through a phase of being angry. My sweet baby Hayden couldn't hurt a fly. Oh, and looks like Liv is up and mad. Okay, Chelsea. It's your time to shine. Here we go. Super efficient baby care. Boom, baby. There's Liv. I'm excited to see Liv as a toddler. I'm curious like what Liv will look like. So it's gonna be fun. Ooh, I love this one. Oh my gosh, those flowers are so pretty. How's Hayden's doing? You didn't do it. What is it with my Sims and just not listening to me? Make it please. Thank you. Quinn is still watching her TV, enjoying herself, loving her life. Merlin, he needs to get his skill up to level three. And I think fitness is his favorite. How are you in fitness? Ooh. Go for a nice little winter jog. Hopefully he doesn't freeze or anything. There he goes. He's working on his fitness. We're his witness. Oh yeah. Eve is all playing dolls and hanging out with mom. So pretty. I love Eve. And mom is sprouting leaves. We just ignore that. I actually really like this flower. I think I might keep this. I'm gonna give that to Chelsea and let's make more arrangements. It'd be like a starry sky. That one looks pretty. He's already almost level four of it. He's taking a drink. He's He's like, I'm an adult now. I'm gonna drink on New Year's. Oh my God, and Harley's got a drink. Harley, <laughs> clearly Greg Jr. gave it to Quinn. Quinn, I mean, Quinn. Oh my gosh, I messed up the name again. All right, why don't you sell that? How's your flower arranging? It's just kind of a pain to get them to do it. I'm not gonna lie. Let's put the crocus flower arrangement on the table here. So pretty, look at that. How's Leaf doing up here? He's making another one. It's in progress and so is Hayden. Maybe Hayden Hayden's will be better than Leafs. Ooh, why don't you sell that one? And then we'll make you a new arrangement and that will be purple parallel. How's Harley? Did she finish up any of her skill? She's almost to level three in comedy, which is what she needs for school. So Harley, can you practice like making jokes on the computer? That could be kind of fun. Write jokes, boom. Maybe she's like, okay, when I am an anti-hero, these are all the jokes I'm gonna make. <laughs> she's gonna be a vigilante and I love that for her. Okay, how you doing buddy? He just likes listening to music. I love that for you, but I do need you to keep making floral arrangements. Oh, this is a normal version. Okay. How's leaves? That one's actually very pretty as well. I love this one, but I want you to sell it. Oh, we're going to skip prom. No prom for my kids. I'm sorry. We're busy making floral arrangements. Ooh, snowdrops. That sounds nice. Okay, he's level four, so he only has one level left. Hayden is still level three because he literally refuses to do this. I have to babysit these guys. I swear. It's fine. We're fine. This is fine. Oh, it's 7 p.m. I probably should let all of the Sims start watching the countdown to midnight at least and making maybe some New Year's resolutions. So Quinn, your New Year's resolution is going to be become a better student. Oh, that's a good one for Quinn. Eve, you want to wake up? She's like, I'm tired. All right. Your New Year's resolution is going to be also to become a better student. Merlin's, your resolution will be becoming better at a skill. Raise a skill. Perfect. Hayden's is going to also be to raise a skill, as is Leafs, who I'm hoping will do that very soon. And Chelsea's new year resolution is going to be, I think, write a book. There you have it. All right, so all my Sims are making resolutions. I'm very proud of them. Ooh, he's focused. Good job, Hayden. Okay, he made his resolution. Perfect. And he's selling that. So let's make a new arrangement. We're going to do Frosted Holly. That sounds fun. Get frosted. Greg Jr.'s feeling playful. Harley's still writing her copy. Oh, she's already reached she's copy. He's level three, good job. So she's gonna watch the New Year's Eve countdown. I think I'm gonna have the rest of the boys do that too. Gotta celebrate New Year's at least a little bit, okay? Greg 
think Junior's gonna sing a little song. Oh, and did I have him make a resolution? I did it, okay. Why don't you? Oh, he can't do any of this. He can't get fit. He can't get a job or get promoted. Maybe raise a skill. Leaf, meanwhile, is finishing up his last little Frost and Holly project. He's almost halfway through level four. This is the Frost and Holly. Eh, it's fine. And then we got a baby who is sad. Chelsea's like, I'm gonna go grab that. You guys keep watching the TV. Enjoy your time. Oh my gosh, I forgot that I love Greg Jr. singing. Greg Jr., you don't need to sing, okay? Oh my God, he's feral? Wait, try to calm down. Let's do a little somber howl, okay? That helps calm him down. Come on, everyone. It's New Year's. Gotta watch the countdown. Here they go. There's only a couple minutes left of this year. We've done a Sims year, at least, in this challenge, which is wild. There we go. <laughs> I love that Hayden's a little off. The rest of the group says it. Oh, he got it that time. Hayden and Merlin are just like marching to the beat of their own drum. Two, one, happy New Year's. Oh, and these two hugged. How cute is that? Good job. It's happy New Year. They're all hugging. This is so cute. I'm, I'm hideous. Oh, he's talking to his brother. My face is a mess. I can't go anywhere looking like this. It's fine. Don't overreact. Leaf is giving advice now. All right, Chelsea. I really need you to cook some food for your kids because they don't have any food right now. Ooh, meatball tamale bites. That kind of sounds good. Oh, what just broke? Oh my gosh, our fridge just broke. Greg, can you ghostly fix that? No, he just has to repair it the normal way. Please help out, Greg. I appreciate you. All the rest of the kids, I don't know where they went. Oh, they all went to bed. None of them wanted to stay up and party, do more fun things. No, they're all like, bedtime, bedtime now. So cute. Look at Chelsea and her nice little rocker having a good time chatting with Greg Jr. while he fixes the refrigerator. She's a happy mom. New Year's is over and it was successful for a lot of them. That's great. I'm pretty happy about that. I think I did a pretty good job considering I had to handle Seven Sims' experience. Eve is coming downstairs. She's a little hungry. She's feeling very inspired though. She's also tired. Oh, wow, those are sparkling. They're excellent. Wow. Greg Jr. is gonna go haunt the bunny as usual. It's his favorite. Little joke is to haunt these little creatures that Jack and Peach Shmay made. Eve is like not that amused. She's just like, yeah, meh. All right, Eve, why don't you go to bed? I want you all asleep so that in the morning I can get the two twins' the skills all finished and everyone is asleep. No, nope. Leaf is up. He's using the toilet and probably gonna go eat. Oh no, got a baby up. Liv is up and crying and wailing and screaming. Liv, it's okay, I got you. But Leaf is good. Oh, he's gonna go check on his plants. Oh my gosh, you gotta spray everything for bugs apparently. Even though he doesn't really need to keep doing this. They're his plant babies. He can't just abandon them now. He's a gardening boy. I'll have his brother do the other part. Why don't you make an flower arrangement? Try the speckled pink one. I guess this means I'll be able to like move them both out of my house fairly soon. Hayden's selling all the lemons from the lemon trees. Ooh, and cursing up a storm. All right, buddy. Okay, make an arrangement of white tulips while your brother Leaf finishes spraying for bugs. Oh my God, he's almost a gardening level six. Gardening was definitely easier than flower arranging to do. It took time too, but significantly less time. Quinn's doing great. She needs mischief as well. Maybe we should start working on her mischief skill today. Hayden's doing his flower arranging. It's funny seeing him without his hat. Oh, Hayden's resolution was complete. He's level four flower arranging. Good job, Hayden. I'm so proud of you. But she doesn't want to. I don't know why they just refuse to want to do them, but that was like an expensive flower arrangement, my dude, okay? Oh my gosh, resume it. Why won't he do this? He literally quits every five seconds. Oh my gosh. Why are you so mad? Like, why won't he finish? this. It's so frustrating. Is there like a flower arrangement book that maybe you could read? Okay. Flower arranging three. We bought it. Hopefully he can read it. Is it too high level for him? Yeah, it kind of looks like it is. All right. We'll buy a different one then. Why does Quinn have clown makeup on? I never gave her clown makeup. Wait, hold up. Oh my gosh. She's straight up wearing clown makeup and she's crying. Oh no. Quinn, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Like what is happening? She's saying school's stupid. She's like mad about school. Is someone making fun of you at school? Maybe it was this clown makeup. Is it automatic with the outfit? This is not showing up in the outfit. You know what? It's fine. If that's what you want to wear, it's fine. I don't get quite the like black on the bottom half of your face, but that's up to you, girl. Liv 
is upset upstairs. Mom, you need to come get your baby. I need to figure out why is Quinn so sad? Tears of a clown. Oh my God, from wearing the outfit? Oh my God, I gotta change the outfit. She's like, this is terrible. Why would Kelsey put me in this? I'm like, Quinn, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. Just keep the normal one. You're cute in that. Okay, Quinn is now terrified, but at least that's better than what was going on before. Why don't you mess with a sibling then? I mean, Greg Jr. is already mad. Oh God, he's being kind of sassy to Eve and Eve is mad about it. But Quinn luckily is going to be messing with him and give him a little scare. Quinn's gonna give up the ghost to scare. It's over there. <laughs> oh, Quinn, that's hilarious. Now he's mad though. Oh my gosh, there's like a full party in here. I can't even hear myself think. Let's mess with Hayden. Monkey around. It seems like he's like fine with it, but he doesn't love it. Okay, now she can troll the poor rooms now that she's mischief levels too. How's Leaf doing? He's gonna go talk to some plants. How cute is that? But well, Leaf, you know what I would love for you to do? Finish your flipping flower arranging. I need you to finish reading that flower arranging book that I had you do because you won't actually arrange flowers because I don't know why. I feel like he's just too at home here. Like he just enjoys it a little bit too much. But he's very happy, like just sitting in this little rocky chair reading his book about flower arranging. Oh, his resolution's complete. Good job, Merlin. Merlin reached gaming level two. Maybe you should just finish video gaming for school. That could be a good one for you. How's Leaf? Oh, he's so close. We're so close. Come on, Leaf, read that book. Retain that knowledge. You've got this. Now that you've read all these books, you're going to make an arrangement like you've never arranged before, all right? It's gonna be the white bush one. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I just cannot have the plants just sitting there unweeded. They look terrible. We need to clean these up. Both boys are in their little room and their happy space. Merlin's having a fun time. He also randomly has rock climbing gear. I don't know where he got that from. Did you want to go rock climbing at some point, my boy? Hey, Leaf, it's all you. Oh, he's so close. He's sneezing on the flowers. Meanwhile, his brother is painstakingly cleaning up the thing. And boom, Leaf is first level five of flower arranging. Congratulations. And he finished his New Year's resolution. We're super proud of him. And you're all done. He's ready to move out. Ooh, and we're selling all our crops. Look at this. All cleared. Okay, now it's on to your brother. Why don't you read the book? that your brother just finished. Apparently it was very useful. I love all the kids just hang out and chat in the room together. It's so cute. Carly, why don't you troll some four rooms? You're feeling playful. Oh, now she's scared. Well, you were playful. I think that Greg Jr. does make her nervous, but she deals with it by making fun of him. <laughs> Liv is upset. Kelsey, it's all you, baby girl. Go take care of Liv, please. Eve, meanwhile, is just a sweet baby angel. We don't need her to do anything differently. She's just a queen. Quinn is ready to go, I think, for school tomorrow. Merlin, meanwhile, does need to work on some things. So why don't you play some games on your phone? Work on that skill here. Oh my goodness. Can you like jog to calm down? Merlin, meanwhile, is making a salad. Good boy. He still needs to get his skill up to level three though. How are you with gaming again? He's close actually. He's really close to level three for gaming. So why don't you eat that and then finish up your gaming skill? All my kids are working hard on their skill. Oh, Greg Jr. likes the pipe organ. Okay, that's new. Nope, oh, that broke. Greg Jr. made himself a little grilled cheese. So cute. And he completed his resolution of improving a skill. Good job, Greg Jr. He's like, I've taken up cooking. Orange juice and grilled cheese, what a combo. Hayden, why don't you go to grab some food here? Eat animal crackers. Is there nothing left in the... Oh, nope, there isn't. All right, why don't you cook something? You can go cook some garden salads. He's feeling very happy, considering the fact that he's still not done with the flower arranging skill. Oh, so, look at that. It's an, actually an excellent salad. He's a natural at making salads. He's gonna eat his little salad, chat up with his brother. They're having a good time. Oh my gosh, it's Chelsea's birthday. She's gonna be an adult instead of a young adult. Crazy. Oh, that's why he's playing. He's just haunting it and it plays. He's like, this is how I like to play it. I do not like to play it with my hands. I like to play it with my feelings. Maybe I will just move out Leaf and then we don't have to move back. Sebastian, he can continue living his life. As much as I love Sebastian, I think it would be fun to have like another kid kind of summon them, specifically a ghost kid who might have some connections to the spirit realm. I just think it makes sense. All right, so we're gonna go save. We're gonna manage a world. We're gonna kick a child of mine out of my house. Oh, goodbye, Leaf. I'm gonna miss you so much. Oh my gosh, look at him with the other kids. 
so cute. I love them all in this little house together. Liv is upset. Chelsea, come fix it. And while you come fix it, I'm going to adjust Greg Jr.'s skills. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a personality transplant. Oh my God, I never realized he was a slob. I've never let him be a slob because he's been cleaning up around the house so much. I'm gonna stop that because he really cleans so much to be a slob. And I'm gonna have him be a child of the island. Summon power elementals, yes. Maybe he's been hanging out with Sebastian. Sebastian taught him how to do it. This way we can maybe get impregnated by an island elemental. Here's what Sim Sav says about doing it. To access the island elementals, your Sim must have the child of the island's trait. Once your Sim has this trait, you can click on your Sim and the option for summoning the island spirit. In order to try for the baby with the island elementals, they must be first added to your household. There's no way to have a baby while they're still in their ghost form. So you have to bring them back to life. Once they are human again, you can try for the baby. The objective here is to have a child that has the Sulani mana trait inherited from the island elementals. Okay, so we have to make sure that the kid has the trait, otherwise we'd probably have to keep doing it. So he's gonna summon some island elementals for us. Maybe we'll go back to the love bunker that we had with Grim. Duan is here. Yes, H! H is here. Go get him a relationship. Start talking to your new ghost boyfriend. Here he is. Cite him some love poetry. Although we're still gonna be green. It's gonna be fine. We're going to, I guess, add him to my family. All right, so we're gonna create a new household of H and Chelsea. Fantastic. We're gonna take the household. We're gonna move them in here and then kick Grim out. Hi, Grim. <laughs> going back to the love dungeon, baby. Not that I can recall any instance of why we were in a love dungeon. Don't talk about the Halloween episode. But we're back in the love dungeon. Before I try command center, I do kind of want to try the wishing well just for fun. So we're gonna put a wishing well outside and see if he can wish his life back. Present an offering of $5,000. I did not know that wishing wells were so greedy, but here we go. He's feeling happy. Okay, what a highly generous offering. The whispering wishing well is most pleasing. We'll certainly grant a wish. Okay, great. So we're gonna make a wish for life and let's see if it works. This would be cool. I don't think I've ever brought a sim back this way. Okay, here we go. Is it gonna happen? Oh, just because hate is a ghost doesn't mean we can't appreciate the value of a simoleon. And that one, the one he just threw down there at the bottom of the creepy well appears to have been wasted. Not even a ghost would dare lower themselves to retrieve it. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Wishing well? You said that you would grant my offering. Well, that didn't work. So let's, I guess, revive him using cheats. We're gonna go to sim command. And we're going to revive. All right, here we go. We're reviving him. And boom, he's revived. Okay, he has the elemental heritage. All right, Chelsea, it's that time to try for a baby and see if we can get pregnant. You may be looking like the jolly green giant, but you are still looking like a snack, okay? Hopefully the baby won't be part plant sim. I got to do a plant sim one later. The plant sim was just an accident. You guys might not remember because it was in the Halloween episode and we don't talk about the Halloween episode. Okay, she can take a pregnancy test. Let's see it, Chelsea. Eating for two, eating for two. This one was a lot easier than Grim, at least. Yes! You're officially eating for two, baby. Love that for us. She's gonna tell him all the news. Say, I'm pregnant with a baby. Congratulations, I gave you your life back and you gave me a baby. It's a win-win. Enjoy your time with the wishing well. I'm gonna go save and put me back into my household with my kids. There we go, we're pregnant. Yes. Now we just have to wait to see if this child of the islands has an island element. Oh my God, why are all my kids being called? Oh, they're not all at school? I left you alone for two seconds. You guys didn't go to school? You guys know what that means, right? Hayden won't be able to age up today. Oh my gosh. What are you thinking? You broke my computer? I left you alone for two minutes and you completely break my house down. Wow. I cannot believe my children right now. Liv is doing amazing. Let's age up Liv for fun. We have nothing better to do. I wanna see what Grimm's toddler looks like. And I think you do too. Ooh, okay, Liv is wild. Does that makes sense. Ooh, I love her dark raven black hair. I love it. Someone's oh, calling us? Yeah. Bathroom sandwich. Quinn was in the bathroom stall today eating a sandwich. Oh, eh, maybe she was just hungry and she needed to go. You know, it's fine. Oh, when answering question, Hayden used forbidden words. Maybe he's just missing his brother. You know, it's gonna be okay. Oh my gosh, and Greg is getting a call. Eve started a food fight. She should help clean. Maybe she was just like, I thought that this was what the humans did with the food. I do not understand. We're gonna give her a little bit of a makeover. Ooh, so this is little Liv. She's 
got very cute sheets. I like her black hair. It's the same style as Chelsea's hair though. So I'm going to say pass on that one. We could do this and make Liv kind of like Wednesday Adams from the Adams family. I like that for now. And then for her eyes, I kind of want Liv to have like red eyes. I know it's kind of creepy for her to have red eyes, but I just think it's kind of cute. Let's give her some black clothing. This one's okay. We'll do that with some like black tights. Oh my gosh. This is a cute kid. Actually, I like this better. Okay, wait, can I do her teeth? I kind of want to give her like spooky teeth. Got like randomly sharp, jagged teeth. I love that. Fantastic. So this is little Liv. She just looks amazing. I love Liv. I can't wait to make Liv's room when she gets a little older. Let's potty train her because she doesn't know how to be potty trained yet. What if we work on that skill first? Oh, Eve finished her resolution because she learned more about communication. Go girl. Liv learned the movement skill. Good job, Liv. Learning how to use the toilet. Chelsea's crushing it. Oh, 12 hours to be a plant sim. Thank goodness. Oh, Hayden reached level three of fitness. Good job, Hayden. Wish you could just be working on your flower arranging while you're at school, but I don't think that's part of it. Merlin might learn some skills though. Oh, I didn't realize he leveled up to the level three of cooking skill. Good job. And he leveled up on fitness. Wow. Merlin's going to outage Hayden. Oh my gosh. That's so crazy to me. Liv is like sad because she had an accident, but it's okay, Liv. Accidents happen to the best of us. Oh my gosh. Yay. Liv just reached potty level two. Look at us. Good job, Liv. We already got you up to potty level two. We're just going to keep potty training you until you're done. I never start with potty training and I always start with the fun things and I'm like, no, this time we have nothing better to do than to sit our child down on the potty. She like literally just took her first steps and I was like, all right, first things first, get out of those diapers, baby. <gasps> oh my gosh, my kids are back home. Okay, Hayden got a B. Quinn is a B student. Eve still didn't age up. Merlin is a B student. Wait, what? Merlin should have aged up. What happened at school today, Merlin? You're right there. You went down? How did you go down? He's like tense right now. He's like, ugh, too much studying can make any kid a little tense. Well, I'm gonna make you sit down and do your homework. Hayden's doing great, but Hayden, I need you to finish your skin of flower arranging. Oh my gosh, the snow's melting outside. That's so nice. Oh, Jack wants us to go to the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Well, we could, but we'd have to bring Quinn with us. I love that I was complaining that he wasn't done with his flower arranging and then I decided to bail from flower arranging and go to a festival with my brother and my sister. Oops, it sounded fun and I want Quinn to get her skills up. All right, so here's the Humor and Hijinks Festival. Do we want to do humor or do we want to do hijinks? Because Quinn technically needs both. I feel like Quinn's gonna wanna go prank. We should prank our brothers, honestly. We're gonna imply some tea sabotage. Be like, I bet they sabotage this tea. I bet they put something gross in it, like their hands. <laughs> Convinced tea is poisonous. Be like, actually, Jack, you shouldn't drink that. I'm pretty sure it's poisonous. Claim to be a criminal mastermind. She's like, someday I will be a criminal mastermind. I believe in that. Both of them seem frightened by her and her antics. She is in her element. She's about fashion. Oh my gosh, she's gonna tease Hazen. She's gonna be like, what do you got in your ear there, Hazen? Hated? What's that with that earpiece? He's embarrassed. She's laughing up a storm, just finding herself so funny. She's farting and wafting it towards them. <laughs> Ooh, we're level four already of the mischief skill. See, I figured that like by doing this, we'd actually level up really fast. So this is amazing. Oh, pranksters are in the lead by five. Let's go pranksters. Quinn's back is going to be tired after this from carrying this team upon it. And Chelsea's calling. Hey, honey, it's mom. When are you going to come visit? Mom, we were there earlier today. I put my all of my love and effort into raising you. You can at least drop by once in a while. Mom, what? I'll, I'll visit you tomorrow. Uh, the pranksters are in the lead by two. No, 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 no. We have to keep going. Come on, Quinn. You can't let the jokesters win, okay? They're gaining on us. Weirdly, a werewolf is the bartender. Oh my gosh, she's gonna dare our brother to streak. Of course she will. And of course our other brother passed out. Hayden's like, I wanna go home. Meanwhile, Harley's like never had more fun in her whole life. Oh my God, he's streaking. He's straight up streaking. She dared Jack to streak and he is. This is too funny. Okay, now we're up by five. Five. Okay, perfect. We're crushing it. The pranksters win! Yes, we won! Oh my gosh, look at these fireworks to celebrate our victory. This is amazing. Oh, we won 500 simoleons and some fireworks and a voodoo doll. Good for you, Quinn. All right, let's go home, you two. Hayden's already like way ahead of you. I'm freezing and need to pee and I'm tired. And Quinn's like, I'm great. I've never had more fun in my life. She's feeling emotionally mindful. That's random. Okay. All right, we're home. Everyone's chilling out home, had a good day. Liv is hungry, but she's getting a salad. Good girl, Liv, my little demonic queen. Oh, and Harley
Lily's come back and giving her sister big hugs, being like, I missed you. Oh my God. And of course, Hayden passed out in the yard. All right. Why don't you go give a big hug to your daughter because you were sad that she'd left? You actually visit us like you said you would. Oh, you're such a good kid. We love you. Quinn's like, yeah, I live here, mom. Okay, Eve, are you ready for school tomorrow? No, you didn't finish your homework. I need you to finish your homework, Eve, even though it's almost 1 a.m. Merlin, have you done your homework? No, you've not finished your homework. Hayden has not even started his homework, but he's exhausted. So I think he's gonna have to go upstairs. He's gonna be so lonely up here without his brother. So sad. He's gonna go up to bed. Merlin needs some fun and some socializing. So I guess he's doing that now. Oh, why don't you play some video games? You like playing video games lately. Eve's homework is done. Good job, Eve. Liv needs to potty. Oh, she's gonna go potty by herself. What a queen. I'm so proud of her. Liv so smart. Oh, she crushed it. Look at her. She's almost done with potty training. Good job, Liv. Merlin is sad. He's lonely. He hasn't socialized. Why don't you come chat with your brother? You know, join in their conversation. Meanwhile, like Liv, absolutely happy as a clam. I feel like she has to be a gloomy child. Like, I feel like she must be a gloomy child. I normally randomize their traits, but with Liv, I just have an inkling. All the rest of my kids go into bed, fix their needs. Why don't you chat in a little chat room? Maybe he's feeling more lonely because he doesn't know any other wizards. It must be hard being raised by this beacon of happiness that is Chelsea. Oh my gosh, she's only a plant sim for three more hours. Go to bed, Chelsea. When you wake up, you won't be a plant sim anymore and I'm finally gonna be happy about it. Oh my gosh, he's standing on the table eating the salad? What is this anarchy? Oh my gosh, we're level two of imagination now and she's working on her movement skill. Or yeah, you can just watch him, I think. That sounds right. Liv will just stand and watch people. This little girl she's just like i am learning she's thrilled by just watching him like look at her look at this kid just eagerly watching over her brother oh my gosh why don't you just watch your ghost brother too Liv is thinking is going up so fast from just watching people i didn't realize that it would work that well what a little weirdo she's just standing there in silence it's so cute but she's level two of thinking just from watching her brother all right, should we work on your movement? Maybe Greg Jr. can play with you. I think that helps with movement. Oh my God, Chelsea's back. She's not a plant sim anymore. Yay. Oh my God. That was so annoying. Oh, this is cute as heck. And this is helping her movement skill. Oh my God. I bet she loves being played with by a ghost. I bet it feels a lot like flying. It sounds fun. Oh, she's learning so fast. Look at her. All right. And then I think I want him to teach her communication. So go teach her to talk. Liv literally can't even say words. She's potty trained, very intelligent. She can walk with the best of them, cannot say words. She's just chatting. She's just like, and then this happened, and then that happened, and then this happened, and then that happened. The end. Liv is so cute. Greg is feeling angry because he just wants to sleep. So why don't you take a little wolf nap, Greg, after finishing teaching your younger sister to talk. She's literally level two already. She's going to probably go potty and then take herself to sleep. All the other kids are like going to school and she's like, okay, bye. All of them are gonna listen to teacher because that increases their school mood. Lit. Hopefully they level up in school today. Liv is perfect. I just met Liv. I will kill for Liv. I live for Liv. Oh my goodness. She's just such a little sweetie. Oh, and Quinn's resolution was complete. <gasps> She got her grades up. Oh my gosh. Does that mean she's gonna age up? Wait, Quinn and Merlin are going to be able to be aged up today. Oh my gosh. Now that Quinn gets pretty good grades, some bullies have been picking on her. Oh, she'd confront them. She would like fight them. Oh, but apparently the bullies don't care. Tomorrow she'll be in the third trimester. Chelsea. Quinn's manners is in the range to earn the good manner trait. Are you kidding? That doesn't sound like Quinn. You sure? I think I was too efficient today. All of my children are gonna be able to be aged up and get out of the house all at once. I don't want them to leave. Then I guess we need to start focusing on our next goal. I'm gonna say it's the flower bunny. Speaking of which, it is already spring. So in the next episode, we'll actually have the flower bunny come to town. I'm excited for a flower bunny baby because I feel like a little bunny baby sounds really cute. I'm not excited about woohooing with the flower bunny. That sounds traumatizing. All right, the kids are home. Hayden's still a B student, but Quinn, Eve, and Merlin all got their grades up. Oh my gosh. And they are a three-headed child. My three-headed child, two of them can become young adults 
students now. Eve has leveled up to, I believe, a B student in school, which is great. And Hayden, still struggling. I don't know what his deal is, but he's fallen a little behind, but it's okay. We'll give him some extra love in the next episode. We will age up these kids and I will be seeing about Seduce and a Flower Bunny. So make sure to keep leaving your names for Island Elemental and a Flower Bunny Kid in the comments. And you know what? Why not add some alien names in there too, just in case. And until next time, guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon. Bye!